There's a group just gone into the chamber ahead of us. They will be inside for about 10 minutes, so I'm going to take advantage of the time we have and begin with an introduction to Newgrange and to the Bend of the Boyne. So everything which you see here at Newgrange had to be carried up to the top of the hill for the building. Now the vast majority of the stone was found quite close by because most of this huge mound is river stone. And of course the river is the Boyne. You can see how the Boyne is flowing through the fields below us. And in fact, if you imagine the area where you find all 40 passage graves, this area is enclosed on three sides by the river. There's a lot of stone at Newgrange which wasn't from this area. Most striking, of course, is the beautiful white stone that runs right across the front of the building. There's 97 of them at the base of the structure, and these we call the curb stones. And then inside, there's close to 500 more, because they make the walls and roof of the passage and chamber. And all of the big stones are a very particular type of stone, which is known as grey wax. Of how long did all of this take? Sadly, not a question we can answer, because we don't know how many people were living and farming in the Bend of the Boyne in the Neolithic. But we know that for Stone Age farming communities, average life expectancy was quite short. Range is part of a very complex ritual landscape within the Bend of the Boyne and it's the entire landscape that UNESCO considers to be of such significance and they have designated this area as a World Heritage Site.